7 and these are tonight's headlines. Corpus chaos in small town high street. Blinking heck. Phone card box mysteriously appears on coal rocks. Will you stop ringing that blooming bell? I'm trying to read the news here. Jobs in jeopardy as yonder mill closes. That's better. In sport, Sven names his team for the World Cup. Good evening. This is the news at about ten past seven with me, Donald McTrevor. In another freak accident today, an armchair fell off the back of a furniture lorry on the East Lanks Road. It was rushed to Lee Infirmary, where doctors later described its condition as comfortable. The Arabic news organisation Al Jazeera claims that Osama bin Laden is still alive and well, despite rumours that he's been injured or killed in American bombing raids on Afghanistan. They have released a new video, which Al-Qaeda claims must be recent, because in it, Bin Laden talks about how rubbish the Wigan rugby team were at the weekend. A spokesman for the Home Office says that it could have been made at any time in the last two years. Other news now. And following the reforming of the band Take That, the supergroup Hearsay has announced that it will also be getting back together. Irish pop impresario promoter Louis Walsh says he has found the perfect place for their comeback concert. It will be played in the phone box on the corner of Hamilton Street and Crabtree Lane in Atherton. Mr Walsh says that all four tickets were sold within a week of their release. He says the gig will be packed out with standing room only. A plucky gang of robbers has raided a securitas depot in Warrington. Police say they have got away with several hundred thousand pounds, as well as a packet of cigarettes, Twix, and yesterday's Daily Star. The one with the sexy picture of Nicky Sanderson on the front. Anyway, a spokesman for Cheshire Police investigating the robbery says that the raid took place earlier this morning, and if they manage to get onto the M6, they could be yards away by now. Today's sport now. Sven Goran Eriksson has named his team for the forthcoming World Cup. It's called England. At this afternoon's press conference, the manager was asked if he thought the team could get to the final. Mr Eriksson said that that would depend on whether or not they could get any tickets. It also depended on who was playing in the final. If it looked like being a boring game, Mr Erickson said, they might decide to go home and watch it on TV. Still on football, and Germany's World Cup aspirations lay in tatters this morning after last night's humiliating 1-0 defeat against Lee RMI under 12 girls reserves. Germany's manager, Jürgen Klinsmann, said after the match, there are no easy gains at this level. The pitch was bumpy and the grass was a bit long. So that's all for today. We'll be back tomorrow at round about the same time. Or oh, near enough. Until then, from all of us at the news at about ten past seven, good night. That was the news at 10 past 7 here on Channel 6.